Hi guys, welcome to Chit Chat Tuesday. Today we're talking about the Doxy Dozen again. Guess who's won this prestigious award this week? That's right, Alicia Doherty is this week's Wanker of the Week. There's many reasons why she could have won Wanker of the Week, but we're going to go with Fridgegate Part 2, where the filthy socked gremlin decided to troll the last few fans she had remaining who weren't only watching her videos for hate watching, the ones who were actually giving her proper advice. Last week's restock, we had a lot of suggestions telling us to put fruit in their mini fridges. I thought that was such a good idea, so I took the kids on an adventure to Trader Joe's and they all picked out their favorite fruit. So last week she did a video where she was restocking the kids' fridges with an astronomical amount of junk food and she got a massive amount of backlash from it. Not just from her haters, but from her actual fans who were trying to give her good advice and saying, obviously it would make more sense to put healthy foods in the fridges that are going in the kids' rooms. So in retaliation to that, she made this sarcastic as fuck video where she's obviously trolling and putting a different fruit in each kid's fridge. But using that smarmy voice she uses when she's being a cunt and putting like a full pineapple in not chopped up and slamming the door. No wonder all the seals are fucking broken on them already. So she made it perfectly obvious that this video was a piss take towards the people who said negative things about her last video and feeding the kids junk food. So let's put this into perspective. To teach us a lesson about trolling her choices on giving the kids poisonous toxins and sugars to destroy the tiny bodies. She's unplugged the mini fridges from the kids' bedroom, carried them all downstairs and lined them up on the table, emptied them out, then gone to the grocery store, spent a fucking fortune on fresh fruit, set up a cameras to make a video of her filling these fridges with fruit and then slamming the door and emptied them all out again filled them back up with junk food and trekked them all back upstairs into each kid's room to plug them back in she did all that just because she doesn't like the way people were commenting on her videos and saying she should make more healthy choices when she's feeding her kids I feel like you're trolling yourself there lishy what a waste of fucking time not to mention a waste of money and fresh fruit what the fuck are you going to do with all that fruit now? Because you know the kids are not going to eat that. They're addicted to sugar, not nutrients. The last part of the video was the most ridiculous yet. So it's a well-known fact that her eldest kid is her favourite and everybody says it. So she made reference to that by giving him star fruit and saying he's the star of the family. But I'm not sure the other kids are going to get the humour. They're just going to see it as confirmation that he is actually favourite child. Yeah, I think you should just take the L on this one, Lishy. Just stop with the sarcastic videos because you're just losing the last few fans you've got left. Alex got star fruit because he is the star of our family. Talking of the star of the family, so he recently turned 18. And what better way to celebrate than take him for a tattoo? So she got herself this one, which is a blue jay. She said she got it, like, to, something to do with her auntie and uncle, to represent them. Never mind the 11 kids you've got, eh? Just get a tattoo that reminds you of your auntie and uncle that you've never talked about at all. I'd have thought if she was going to get a tattoo of a bird, she'd pick a bird that at least represented herself or her kids or something. I think a bald eagle suit Alicia more. I added some of my amazing artwork to a picture in case she wants to use it for a future tattoo template. Now this one looks exactly like Alicia Doherty. Alicia I don't mind if you want to use it I won't copyright you like you've tried to do to me a few times. Anyway I don't have a problem with Alicia's tattoo and her eldest is old enough to get a tattoo but what I found what I thought was more weird was that he decided to get a tattoo with the infinity symbol his biological mum's name and his adopted mum's name Alicia I just think it's, it's a bit weird isn't it most people if they're gonna get the mum's name tattooed they have the name mum or mom this just looks like either he's got two girlfriends and they he's got their names tattooed on him or you'd presume he's got kids and these are his kids names so now it just it doesn't sit right with me it, it just looks a bit weird and you'd think with her as a responsible adult and his mum that she'd at least try to discourage it 
Like, yeah, fair enough, get a tattoo, but putting someone's name on your body, it's a big thing, that. Anyway, that's just personal opinion. The next thing I want to talk about is this video where Alicia bought new bedding for every single kid and then obviously had to film herself making up the kids' beds because you can't expect a kid to make his own bed. I mean, not at 18. First up, she didn't even wash the bedding, so she just got this bedding from the store and put it straight onto the beds. I've worked in a lot of factories, and I know the dirty, sweaty people have been touching these sheets. They've probably been all over the floor in a dusty environment, and that's before they were even packed up. And then they've been shipped to a store where they've been sat on shelves and mauled by numerous people. This bedding is full of germs, not to mention the chemicals that are used in the processing of it. You should always wash your new bedding, dirty bitch. That's not my issue with this one though. My issue is that you're showing every child's bed. A bed is a very personal space. What sort of kid, especially a teenager, wants to go to school on a Monday morning and say, ha ha, I saw your mum making your bed. I know exactly how many plush teddies you've got on your bed oh you're still a teenager and sleeping with teddies she even showed one of the waterproof mattresses and said whose bed was each kid's bed so people know that that kid has got a waterproof mattress it doesn't take einstein to work out why they've got one in the first place she puts a marker on these kids back for bullies just let them have some sort of privacy as a bare minimum, don't show people where they're sleeping. Anyway, she did another video where she's answering a few questions. I didn't watch it all because it was fucking boring. But the gist of it was like, I'm only filming the things that I'd be doing anyway as a mother. Yeah, all right, Lishy. I really believe you're making a fucking snackety board and getting up at four in the morning to make 112 muffins. I really think you'd be doing that if you wasn't filming it for content. Like, fuck. The kids would be having cereal and that's it. But the thing I did find interesting was this. Anytime I post family content, like, don't get me wrong, I wanted to be a family vlogger. I love family vloggers. I think they're so fun to watch. Um, anytime I post family content, like, YouTube just, <laughs> nope, demonetizes. And then that, like, hurts my entire platform, our entire platform in the long run. So, like, I do, the kids are here. Josh is here. They're obviously here. Um, but when I focus, like, any of our vacation vlogs or my birthday vlogs, they're often demonetized or, um, like, it brings down our RPM and it brings down um, basically our views and our platform. I know that sounds insane. So what I got from that is that the reason she's not showing the kids as much as she used to is not because she's trying to protect them or give them some privacy or dignity. No, don't be fucking stupid. It's all about the fucking money. YouTube demonetizes her whenever she puts the kids on the platform so instead she chooses to just talk about them invade the personal space by showing everybody the fucking bedrooms tells everybody the medical conditions still and by feeding them a ridiculous diet she's making more money from that so that's what she's choosing to do yeah well done mother of the fucking year couldn't not mention the last clip because it's just so fucking ridiculous isn't it the annual pizza competition Basically, they've ordered from 10 local pizza places. Just one pizza from each place, which would cost an absolute bomb. All margaritas, and they do like a competition where they judge the best one. So she cuts them up a tiny piece from each pizza and mauls it to fucking death. Because, you know, you've got to put a much, as much germs and dig your skanky nails into it before giving it to your kids. What a waste of fucking money. It's not even a treat because they have pizza like twice a fucking week. Anyway, if you was wondering, Pizza Hut won. It's definitely not Alicia trying to get a Pizza Hut sponsorship. We're going to finish up with one last clip. It's Alicia's quote of the day. And I feel it like it was very apt for her last week when she spent most of her week making videos, trying to get back at some of her haters and trolling her trolls. Oops. February 23rd. You have to learn the rules of the game and then you have to play better than anyone else.